hello viewers welcome back we are now going through the excel settings and we are trying to look at the overview of the excel settings so let's discuss the main objectives for this chapter on excel settings because what we finished in the previous videos or what we've been handling in the previous videos the likes of looking at the use of the mouse the likes of looking at the excel ribbon and all the other sections that are within the excel ribbon that was chapter one of our excel fundamentals now every chapter we end or we conclude we always have some some two to three questions that we need to pose around and we see what we can actually do so these we are going to make sure that at least we post some of these small small videos small small videos or small small questions in our community chat that's where we are going to post the questions plus the answers so you keep selecting or you put the correct answer in the comment section so that's going to be dropping very soon so what we are going to look at now is the settings in other words the excel settings that we need to look at now let's try to see the overview of the excel settings first of all we want to tackle the general settings there are lots of settings in excel but we are going to focus on one that are most important to set that are most important to set you up for success we also want to review the formula settings or the calculation options we can set we can set and the software we can set in other words we are looking at the formula we are looking at the review of the formula settings or on the all the calculation options we can set the we, we can set the software to be fully automatic or manually or completely manual or something in between we can set some of the formulas and they can actually give us automatic things or they can be completely manual or it can be in between the two partly automatic partly manual so and also we also want to talk about the ability of the software to do iterative calculations these iterative calculations are often th these calculations they are often needed in the financial models there are also a whole other hosts of options available inside excel but what we are going to focus on here are the options that are actually recommended for financial professionals so these settings that we are going to focus on they are basically for financial professionals because we are basically looking at the excel but in terms of things that are going to help us do the financial analysis that's basically what we are we are looking at so we are looking at some of the settings that we can actually have there are also some advanced options available in, in the Excel software that we need to be aware of. And finally, we are going to show you exactly how to set the quick access toolbar, which you can really take your which you, which can really take your keyboard use up to the next level and further improve your speed and efficiency because when you set the quick access toolbar and you give it some 
right features they are going to help you speed up your work and improve your efficiency so there is a lot to do in this chapter so let's dive in and get started let's meet in the next video where we are going to be talking about the general settings what are the general settings that we can actually set for our excel file we we'll see you there